what is going on thanks for checking out smoking with bush today i got something a little different i looked up a recipe for making some veggie burgers recently the wife has tried to cut back on some of her meat intake and has been vegetarian for a few weeks now and i've been looking up recipes that have been flavorful and just easy to make and I've been wanting to find something I can grill other than like a mushroom or something like that. And I found a veggie burger recipe that said it was grillable. Let me show you what's going in this thing and we'll get to putting it together and getting it out on the grill. All right, so these are some of the ingredients going in this veggie burger. Got some brown rice in it some uh, walnuts and it did say you could substitute the walnuts for maybe breadcrumbs so if you have a walnut allergy or if you just don't like walnuts you can substitute substitute those for breadcrumbs also you throw in some black beans I see that in a lot of the veggie burger recipes so I was expecting that and then some panko breadcrumbs going in there and the sweet potatoes there I'm gonna cut those up try to make some sweet potato fries to go with the veggie burger and today all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook up the brown rice. When I come back, I'm gonna have the brown rice cooked. I'm gonna have these walnuts chopped just a little finer. As you can see, they're the nuggets. So I'm gonna have those chopped just a little finer. And then the black beans, I'm gonna drain and rinse those and smash them up a little bit with a fork. And I'll put the full recipe info in the description box along with the link to where I found the recipe as well. Forgot to mention a couple of other ingredients. When I was looking at the recipe, no bad. About a uh, half an onion. I said a half a white onion, but I don't have a white onion. I got a purple one, so that's what I'm using. And then also some barbecue sauce. It's just some barbecue sauce I made, so that's going in there as well. And now I will bring you back once I have the rice cooked, cooled down, and we're putting everything together here getting my coal started up so I can throw these veggie burgers on. Gonna try to get a full chimney lit today. Looking at the recipe it said that grill the burgers for about three to four minutes on each side so I'm trying to get my coals as hot as possible. Just toasting up a cup of walnuts. I got this purple onion saucing right now. And I got my seasonings Elk got sugar, a little bit of cumin, chili powder, and paprika. I'm just gonna throw that in the ninja chopper along with some salt and pepper and get this blended into a fine uh, meal mixture is what the recipe said. And then I'll be able to combine everything together and get the patties going. And that's all I'm looking for, a little crumbly meal action, as you can see. So this recipe said this makes about five of these veggie burgers. So I'm just gonna scoop some out here and see if this will patty together. It's actually holding together hmm, a little better than expected. All right, so we ended up with five and I'm just gonna flatten these out some so we can throw them on the grill. All right. So they look like they're holding up pretty good. I got my grill up to 400 degrees. So I'm gonna throw these on and we'll see if they hold together. There we go, Ron, we'll check back in about four minutes. So we're right at four minutes and we're gonna check and see where these burgers at. I'm kind of nervous. With no grease dropping into the coals, there was no smoke coming out of the top of the grill. 
and I did grease the grate, but we got a little bit of stickage. All right, we'll let that go about three minutes. I mean, those will be done in a few, and this one will keep going a little bit longer. All right, so it's only been a couple more minutes. Definitely want to check on these top two since we got a good char on those. Those are probably ready to come off. So I'm gonna get those off of here. Got my burger put together. And about the cook, I did about four minutes on the first side, and then when I flipped, I did maybe two and a half minutes. And three of the burgers held together pretty firm. One decided to break on me, and the other one kind of in between. And what I'm thinking happened is when I was packing them together, that third one, I maybe didn't pack it, I didn't pack it tight enough. So when it was cooking, it kind of split. But you know the most important part. Very, very, very nice chew. And that char on the outside, it is very, very similar to eating a beef burger. You bite into it, of course you got that crispness of the lettuce and then the tanginess of the barbecue sauce. I use the homemade barbecue sauce, it's kind of sweet, and it actually works well. You have the chili powder and the cumin in the veggie burger, so it balances that out. But the flavor is really good. I, I can really taste the toasted walnut a lot more than I thought I would be able to. And it really doesn't come off as a black bean burger. It just comes off as, it, it, it's, a, it's really good. I, all right, the flavor is really, really in there. Let me take another bite. Let me taste it. I think if I made these again, I would kick up the seasoning just a little bit, maybe a little more paprika, tad more sugar, and something for a little bit of a kick to it, because it doesn't really have that spicy element, even though there's some chili powder in there. To me, chili powder doesn't give you enough of a kick. Maybe it had a little cayenne, like that and but overall for a veggie burger it held up on the grill which was very 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 surprising and it tastes really good so I'm gonna go ahead and get to eating this I appreciate you checking out the channel and keep on smoking